Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting. I don't know what I'm going to be painting yet though because I'm going to be using this. Have you ever seen or heard of this book? It is exactly what it says it is. It is 500 drawing prompts and each page just has a handful of different words for you to draw. And I've been thinking about this book for a long time now and ever since this year when I put out my video about me wanting to make more art this year and to expand my artistic horizons. I've been thinking about this book because in the art goals video I made, I talked about how I wanted to branch out and do different things because when I grew up doing art, I just had one thing that I always drew or painted. And so I never branched out and actually did other things. So I thought what better way to sort of force myself to try and draw new things than get this book of 500 different things that I just have to draw. I haven't looked through it, but I know that some pages have two prompts, some pages have three prompts, some pages just have one prompt. And I want to let myself be really creative with this. I mean, the whole point of art is to be creative, right? So I wanna let myself have loose boundaries. I'm gonna use this book as sort of like a way to sketch and brainstorm, and then I can take it wherever I want it. I can just do a piece in my sketchbook, or I can do a more finished piece if I really like the idea I'm working with, and I can use whatever medium I want. I want this to be really open-ended, but the only guideline is the prompt, obviously, has to be included in some way. So whenever I'm feeling like I need to create art and I need some inspiration, I think this will be a really useful book for me to have. So I'm excited to get right into it. I've been sitting on this for a long time. I'm waiting for a good time to start it, basically. I haven't even looked at any of the prompts. Obviously it was wrapped, but I like I don't wanna like be sneak peek in this. I wanna just like hear the prompts and go for it. And I think what I'm going to do is I know there's multiple prompts on each page. And I think I'm just going to use each prompt on one page to make one picture. So let's just see what the first prompt is. Oh wow, that's interesting. It's bound like this. And this is a, like a book sleeve on it. Okay, so our first two prompts, waterfall and wizard staff. We're just gonna start by figuring out a, a plan, figuring out what we're gonna do here. Hmm. These are two things that I've never drawn, a waterfall and a wizard staff. So that totally gives me sort of fantasy vibes, some sort of fantasy scene. Um, Tiered waterfall there and a wizard staff. I mean, a wizard staff I feel like can really kind of look like whatever you want it to as long as it's a staff, right? So the question will be what type of wizard staff do I want here? This is why I was excited to get this book because I guarantee you everything in this book will be new for me to draw and that I will have to look up references and do a lot of sketching and thumbnails for making a piece with it. And I just think that is what I need to get the creative juices flowing. Otherwise I just stay in my comfort zone and don't try anything else. And now I wanna think about how to 
combine these ideas. And honestly, I don't think it's that much of a stretch to have some sort of nature scene with a waterfall and then have a wizard in the nature scene. And that's not much of a stretch, but that could be really cool. So the next question, given that idea, is what kind of wizard do we want? Because there are so many different kinds of wizards. There's so many different ways you can depict a wizard. So what kind of wizard do we want? Like a Gandalf wizard or a Harry Potter wizard. And I know there's probably other kinds of wizards out there, but I'm not a high fantasy person, so I'm not versed in the types of wizards. Puffball on it, like this was a Santa hat. No, wizard, wizard. Okay, I mean, I think I have a pretty good idea of what I wanna do. The execution is where we're going to struggle probably, but this is some good, good idea. Now that my sketching and kind of brainstorming is a little bit developed, I think I want to start the sketch, the main piece. <gasps> oh, I just broke it. I just ripped the, uh, the cover. Oh well, this book is probably gonna get mangled anyway. This is what we're working with. I'm gonna go with some sort of landscape uh, with a waterfall in it, and then we're gonna have a little wizard walking into the picture. That's the plan. I think I'm going to do this with gouache paint. I'm going to use this Kimi gouache paint that I did my last painting video with, I believe. All right, let's get this party started on a Saturday night. It's Monday. Oh, sorry. I still haven't like figured out the squash stuff yet. We're just gonna go for it. We're going for it. We're just gonna go for it. Be bold. Be bold. No fear, no fear. We are not afraid of painting on a piece of paper.
Okay. Oh, that is, that seems crooked. And I just need to dial in a bit. <laughs> so I've got like background, middle ground, foreground. This is day three. Yes, sir. I hear what you're saying. Where is the wizard? Well, I want to put him like here somewhere um, and I'm debating whether or not to like draw him on a separate sheet of paper and like cut him out and paste him there as opposed to drawing him right in here because obviously I did not include him in this for some reason. I didn't forget, I was just not wanting to think about it and I just wanted to focus on the landscape. But now I think I'm happy with the landscape and now I need to address the wizard.
kind of obsessed with it. I actually think it came out really good. I was unsure about my decision to do the wizard separately. I wasn't confident on how I was going to make him part of the piece, but I actually really like it. I really like him coming into the frame and also kind of popping out of the frame. I think it's really interesting and really cool. It adds to this piece a lot. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm really happy with the outcome and I look forward to doing more drawing prompts from the drawing prompt book. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and feel free to check out some of my other videos. I do have some other art videos on my channel as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.